story for Splinter Cell Conviction uh, takes place shortly after the events of Double Agent. It opens up with Sam investigating his daughter's death. Playing the other games and looking at where the storyline was taking Sam, it felt very natural that Sam would not be working for traditional anymore, that he'd be working on his own. Sam today, not being part of Third Echelon anymore, he doesn't have the rules of conduct that he initially had when being part of this organization. So now he makes his own rules. So picture it. Sam Fisher is the best agent that ever was. He's the strongest infiltration agent. Now he doesn't have any laws to contain him. He doesn't have any orders to follow. And he's enraged. So making a story more about Sam allows us to talk more about his history uh, and also it allows us to, to create some gameplay that has a different flavor than before. Okay, the big difference that there will be between the old Splinter Cell and the new uh, Conviction is at the level of the velocity of the personage, the level of his brutality. So, in fact, we had to find an art martial that really corresponded to the personage and to the situation in which we were going. So, something very efficient, very rapid, brutal, and that has no rules. So, it's the Krav Maga that we chose for that, in fact. Krav Maga is not a, uh, a big, flashy martial art. You know, he's not going to be doing spinning back kicks or anything like that. What he is doing is he's being extremely efficient at taking people down in a fast and effective manner. Secondarily, Sam is like extraordinarily capable with a pistol. So we've gone through a lot of effort of studying different close quarter combat techniques, uh, different ways of fighting with a pistol. So for instance, our basic stance is uh, actually the center axis relock, like this. It gives you a lot of advantages to be able to, to fire like this. Continue firing, fire, 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 like that. So we have a very fast and fluid system for being able to move in different directions like that. There is no walking away from us, Fisher. We made you, we own you, and we always will. He's left third echelon, so he's on his own. So you'll find a couple of gadgets that he'll improvise in the gameplays. So we have a snake cam mirror that we use that he's actually an improvised version of the old snake cam. It's a mirror that he's going to use at the early stages of the game. Um, we still have uh, gadgets where uh, he'll be able to disrupt lights, but the realization this time around is a lot more action-based, so you'll have uh, EMP grenades and EMP devices that'll help you really uh, create a path of shadows, uh, like the previous Miller cells, but with a 2009 uh, special effects turn on it. Hey, asshole. Remember me. We're in Los Angeles and we're getting ready to do the first voiceover session with, you know, with, with Sam Fisher. And so as soon as he opened his mouth, you know, <laughs> I got chills. I was like, shit, man, that's Sam Fisher in that booth. I have a message to those who stand in my way. Pray. He's a predator, very visceral emotions he's feeling, and it's really portrayed throughout the gameplay. That's the Sam Fisher we have now, an honest yet dangerous badass.